Stop three on the Co-op FIS Cross Country World Cup saw the skiers make the 150km trip across Norway from Lillehammer to Beitostolen for a two-day programme in freezing conditions of minus 13 degrees. First up, it was the Women's Sprint Classic. Nadine Fandrich of Switzerland was in scintillating form in the early rounds and she carried that into the final. Despite a couple of slips on the final uphill section, the Swiss skier came home to register her first World Cup Classic win. Lotta Wing secured the first individual podium of her career in second, while Johanna Matantalo of Finland took third for her second ever World Cup podium. Next up was the men, but without the winner of the first two sprint races this season, Johannes Kleiber, who was ill. All eyes were on home favourite and overall World Cup leader Paul Goldberg, but a fall midway through the race put pay to his hopes. Richard Juve of France was a skier to take the win, his first World Cup triumph this season. Behind him, Simone Mocellini of Italy came through to claim the first World Cup podium of his career, while in third was Sweden's Kalle Halvorsen. Day two of competition saw both the men and women race a 10km individual start classic. In the women's race, Finland's Kertu Niskanen had a solid start and was in the top three through the opening third of the race. Come halfway though, the 34-year-old had the best time and it was an advantage she kept all the way to the end to register her fourth World Cup career win. I, of course, my... My favorite is classic and uh, maybe 30 kilometer is the best one, but 10 kilometer also, yeah, I like. <laughs> Behind her, Anne Calva registered her first podium of the season, while Frida Carlson racked up podium number four for the season. Congratulations to Finland's Kurto Niskanen on a fine win. In the overall standings, Till Wing leads the way. In the men's race, Paul Goldberg, fueled by his fourth place finish in the sprint after a fall, was in no mood for a repeat. Quickest after lap one, the overall World Cup leader, went through the gears on lap two to extend that lead by the finish line. Today was uh, another good day. It was really a frustrating day yesterday, but uh, that's a part of the game. So uh, had a, a lot of... Uh, Revenge coming today. Diedrich Tunseth of Norway was second, while Britain's Andy Musgrave returned to the podium after five years. Goldberg extending his lead at the top of the overall standings after the weekend. The last race of the meet was a five by kilometre mixed relay, the first of the new season. The early exchanges saw Norway 1 and 2 battling it out with Sweden 1 for the lead, with all three heading the field at some stage. At the third exchange, it was still any one of those three that could take the win, but as the final lap unfurled, it was Norway 2 that were the strongest. They came home comfortably in front of Norway 2, who picked Sweden 1. So confirmation of the final results in the first mixed relay of the season. And a great couple of days in Norway comes to a close. Next week, the athletes move to Switzerland and the resort of Davos for a free sprint and a 20-kilometer individual free.